We are back. We are on the hunt for some new stuff. We're going on an op shop run today, which we haven't done in quite some time. Ages. So for the people new to our channel, my name is Brad. I'm Jazz. And we are Twizzy Thrifters and we buy and resell on eBay. So today we're going to hit up about six op shops. Hopefully find some really cool gear to resell on eBay. So if you're new here and this is going to interest you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll take you along on the journey. Let's go. Somewhere new. <laughs> So it's been a slow day so far. I just got one double pack of ink in that one. Probably head to a couple more because we found like four things so far. So not every time you go out the thrift you're gonna be successful. But um, we'll keep having a look and hopefully we strike something good. So we did go to two savers on the way home and we got a wicked clipsal jacket. So it's by voltage on the back. Probably gonna chuck that on Depop as part of like the motor racing Ford collection. Motive. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a nice heavy denim. Um, I got a little Lorna Jane active vest to test of the zip. It's in good condition. Got a, what is this one? Slazenger, reverse again. Slazenger, so it's yellow on the inside. So you can put that inside out? Yeah, the Slazenger <laughs> on the inside. That's cool, it looks sort of vintage to me. So again, probably a Depop piece, I reckon. All right, we'll check that one out further. Um, couple of Oakley like sweatshirts that are in very nice condition. One and two. Mm -hmm. Um, we got an SMS Santini little cycling jersey. Um, checked for scrapes and things, but that one was in really nice nick. That was only six bucks. A little Ferrari cap for four ninety nine, and we just checked it's got its little like authenticity foil inside. The real deal. Um, Brad got a Sony remote, so you would have just looked that up by the little code there to check yep. some comps. Very, very nice pair of Merrill hiking boots. A few people were picking these up and looking and then put them back, so we scooped them. And we've got two pairs of I think, oh yeah. diesel jeans. It's a uh, Curran. So yeah, I looked them up. They look like they're doing okay. The Paid. Apple style. Same. Oh, same one again. Yeah. Easy peasy, probably donated by the same person. Yeah, we had 20% off for of that one as well. So about 20 bucks, we sort of expect to get probably around 59 for them. So not huge return, but they should go pretty pretty well. We are running out of diesel, so <laughs> nice to have a little restock on those. Um, really nice pair of RM Williams Stockman jeans. Um, they will sell very quickly because this material seems to be really popular. Mm. I'm not actually quite sure what that's called, but it photographs really beautifully. Uh, and then we got our couple of smalls this morning, the set of nine cassettes, two sets of, no, one set of ink and one set of ribbon. And of course the Levi's 504s. Three pairs of those. And my ultimate favorite is still my $5 Scotty 
Aussie Christmas Look at those, like, like galas on it. Oh, they're so random. Coco, as <laughs> Jada would say. So we're probably gonna go inside. We're gonna show you a little bit of our back end process about like detagging, working out our average cost of goods, and then start sort of listing. So we wanna show you guys a few more process driven stuff. So we'll probably do that now. So I've just been drafting all these uh, items from yesterday pulling off the tags and as I go I've been putting in the price into the custom SKU so that we can see exactly how much we paid for the item and what we'll also do is we'll use the um, receipts that we've gathered from yesterday enter that into our weekly spreadsheet so we know how much money we've spent for that week so Jazzy will take these into the listing room and get some photos and then they will be listed and we'll just pop our receipts from today in our little August file under stock, just in case the tax man ever wants to see it. We've got it all there handy. So that tub is all ready for Jazzy to do some listings with a few other bits and pieces that we've got ready to go. So she'll get onto that later today and get them up listed. I'm all set up here to take some pictures. I have a three box light set up today and just my white background on the floor. And another one at the back just to bounce some light around. So I just do a nice flat lay picture. We'll get the front and the back of each item. We'll get any details like on this one. We'll just get that little zip there and the tag. And then I'll just go through all of those drafts and add all of my pictures in. And I can basically just hit list and pop all these items away. Thanks for coming along with us today as we went out op shopping. We've got some good gear to list up on eBay. Leave us a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Leave us a comment below and let us know what your process is once you get stock from the op shop. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thanks for coming along and we will see you next time on Twazzy Thrifters. Bye for now.